coming up in this video. Do you question everything? Then you'll soon have plenty of questions to ask if you can handle these scary videos. These are the 30 scary videos leaving experts baffled. Number 30. Siberian Yeti While driving in Siberia, this dash cam captured a mythical creature on a snowy road. Redditor M Unexplained shares it in the scary clip. <laughs> Do you see it? It looks like an enormous biped figure. Let's see it again. Do you think this is a Yeti? Whatever it is, it's leaving experts baffled. Number 29, face in the window. While investigating the haunted Oxford Castle, Redditor Stuart James Author and his team were hit with a double whammy. James explains, Recently I carried out a paranormal investigation at Oxford Castle. We were let in overnight and the only people there. This was live footage which I didn't notice at the time, but if you look closely, there appears to be a face at the window. Some of the comments think it's fake, while others think not, and others are just bemused. Shortly after, the crew enters the hallway. That's where they captured this. As I rounded the corner and walked down one of the dark halls, I saw a figure leaning against the wall. Again, it wasn't there while I was doing the live feed. While the face in the window is vivid, to me this second image is a little more obscure. I think it could be explained away. But this face on the other hand? That's another story. Whether real or fake, this redditor says reviewing these findings sent him running for the hills, and I have to admit, after seeing this footage, I would have done the exact same thing. Number 28, The Breather. A doorbell camera captured an interesting visitor one night at around 10 p.m. TikToker L-E-N-T-H-I-N shares this video. <coughs> It appears that the woman just stands there for a moment, breathing loudly, and then leaves, carrying her bag of mysteries. It doesn't even seem like she rings the doorbell. Would this terrify you? It does certainly terrify me. I wouldn't open the door ever again. Number 27, Stalker Caught on Camera. Have you ever had a stalker? YouTuber Kev from Crypto NWO has, and his stalker just took it to the next level by sending him a thumb drive. There are some strange pics on it and some video files. Let's take a look. Security footage captures the stalker peering into the YouTuber's home. Kev is setting up a camera inside. A second piece of security footage captures the stalker approaching the house and ringing the doorbell. Dude is already gone. He... Uh, look where he runs. I didn't check the way he ran, but I looked at the footage afterwards. So, knocked on my door. Knocking on my door right now. I, there's no, I, by the way, I haven't seen any videos or anything. Okay, he recorded my door. He ran off. He hears a knock at the door. My door is going to open there. Boom. I open my door. Nobody's at my door and I'm like, what the f I, I'm tripping out right now. I'm actually thinking, is this like, are these kids doing this? Or is this like the entire stalker situation? And then he heads outside to check it out. I don't know why my camera didn't catch me walking out the front door. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm literally, I can't see. I'm looking down my street towards the left of my street. I'm looking to the right of my street now. I'm pulling out my phone. Kev is then seen looking for the perp down the street. 
Yeah, dude, I'm I'm tripping out right now. I'm looking down my street. I saw somebody walking, but they had their dog with them, and it was like a teenager. So I'm thinking maybe it's that person. But at the same time, I'm tripping the right now because this person cut. After Kev re-enters his home, a car is seen in the distance driving in the other direction. The cameras are glitching like crazy. Open the door. I close it. Cars driving this way. What is the stalker? A second video captures what appears to be the same guy doing this again. Another one here. But dude, coming up to my camera, there was a flashlight on his phone. I hope he's not recording a video. What, run sprints this time. This time he didn't even hold back. Ran same place, same direction. Didn't even hold back. Kev heads outside again to look around. Two, one, now. I have a baseball bat in my hand. I'm tripping out. I'm actually tripping out. I'm trying to act tough here, but I'm actually shaking. I'm really, really scared. It's actually relatively cold at this time of the year. Of course, he finds no one. What do you think the stalker is trying to achieve by this? Knocking on his door again and again. I think he is trying to build up Kevin's fear, a fear of the unknown, and it seems like he's succeeding. Number 26, the appearance. This figure appears out of nowhere and then disappears just the same way. Shared on TikTok, watch this mysterious vanishing act. <laughs> It does appear that the figure is only suddenly visible when the light flashes on them. And after it trapezes across the roadside for a moment, it vanishes into nothing. Well, it could just be a poor quality camera. The way the figure pixelates and disperses is utterly eerie to me. I'm no tech expert. Can anyone clear this up for me in the comments? Number 25, Japanese Shrine Ghost. Ghost phenomena at the Daruma Shrine in Chiba, Japan was captured on camera and shared by YouTube channel Fourth Wall. Even the approach to the shrine is creepy. At the shrine, the following unexplained noises and visuals are captured. Note that the blurred image is the cameraman sleeping in the shrine. Do you see it? Watch again closely. A Daruma figurine is pushed from the shrine's shelf. This isn't the only paranormal activity captured at the shrine either. When two others visited, they caught this face in the darkness. Is this temple haunted? According to this channel, someone ended a person's life there, but I couldn't find any additional information about this. In my opinion, the place looks creepy, but I'd like to see more evidence stack up before declaring it haunted. If you like this video, check out Fourth Wall. All of the channel's videos have English subtitles. Number 24, Blue Sphere Spinning. What is this blue sphere spinning in the sky? Shared by YouTuber Arte Morbid, this video was captured by Juanjito Juan in Valle Hermoso, Mexico. The footage was taken at around 2.30 in the morning. Up close, the unidentified flying object looks like this. It 
It was drifting over this man's house for around 30 minutes before it vanished. It certainly doesn't look like anything identifiable to me. But is it extraterrestrial? I do think the increased activity in this area might indicate something mysterious is going on. Number 23, Witch's House. Does the spirit of a witch still call this witch's house home? YouTuber Max from Paranormal Point is here to investigate. A steady cam captures the wardrobe's entire collapse in the next room. <laughs> It sounds like a dog is hiding somewhere in the room, along with something else. In another room, the candles are lit, and a shadow figure drifts past. After performing a ritual, Max reaps his reward. The witch becomes angrier when he addresses her. Who are you? You can show me. A little later, this happens. Yeah, I would leave too. I think the witch is here, and she means business. Number 22, Sonora Inn. The Sonora Inn was built in 1896 and is infamously haunted by many a spirit. Thomas writes that he worked night shift there in 2018 as he was setting up for breakfast at 5 a.m. This is what was captured on security camera. Watch the bowl he places on the counter in the top right corner. Let's see it again. Do you believe in this dining room poltergeist? I feel it might be a case of the wet surface of the bowl acting as a lubricant. After all, he did say it was a bowl of ice, but that's just my theory. What do you think? Number 21, Slaughterhouse of the Devil. Slaughterhouses are inherent houses of demise, and YouTube Team Extinct File believes this abandoned one is owned by the devil. While the team is introducing the warehouse, they hear unexplained sounds behind them. Con mucha adrenalina, muy muy nervioso. ¿Escuchaste? Sí. As he continues talking, he hears more noise. Sí. Para que ustedes puedan escuchar y puedan ver todo. He continues through the warehouse and hears this. No mames. Mira eso, mira eso, mira eso. Mira eso. ¿Escuchaste, güey? They arrive at where the pigs are washed, and it's here that they're scared out of their minds. Mira. Como que aquí era donde lavaban a los cerdos, ¿no? ¿O qué? No mames. Fue un golpe. Fue un golpe muy fuerte, güey. They continue, but the disturbances follow them. No mames. Justo cuando entramos aquí se cayó, güey. Shortly after, they hear footsteps.
then they hear something behind them. Hijo de la madre, ¿qué pedo? Things continue to happen before their very eyes. ¿Lo captaste? No mames, güey. Como si no la aventaran, ¿viste? Dime que sí lo grabaste, por favor, güey. ¿Neta? Es que esa madre... And they're shut into the control room. No mames. La cerraron, eh. Mira, se está moviendo, güey. In another room, repeated banging start up inexplicably. ¿Qué me... ¡Ay, joder, su puta madre! ¿Qué pedo, güey? ¿Qué pedo? Is this slaughterhouse haunted by the devil himself? It certainly seems to me that the devil or his minions are hunting the extinct file crew. Will they make it out alive? Or will they end up like the animals who met their demise here? Number 20. Chair unattended. Is someone watching you while you sleep? Shared by YouTube channel Blah Blah, this scary video is trending in the Arabic-speaking YouTube community. Security camera footage captured this paranormal event on camera. Watch for the standing fan. But more terrifying is the sleeping woman's reaction. Fans can be automated and set to start at a certain time. So, to me, this is not necessarily a paranormal event. But then again, her response makes me second guess myself. I track this video down to the TikTok account at Jezebel TikTok, but I'm not sure if this is the original source. Judging by this woman's level of fear, I can't help but think that she saw or felt something else in the room, aside from a light breeze. What do you think is going on here? Number 19, Gin of the Stick. YouTuber Hassan Barbar writes that the Jinn of the Stick is the strongest thing in the world of the Jinn, and he's captured it on video. Let's take a look. Soon you can hear the jinn moaning nearby. طب ليش انت ما ظهرت اي لما مكان الشيخ هون؟ And finally Hassan comes across the jinn stick. انت وحده؟ يعني طب ليش وقعتي هاي يعني تخوفيني اطلع من المكان برجعه هسه الشيخ برجع الشيخ هون ها في صوت Hassan follows the sound of a bottle being kicked around but he finds nothing ها Is the Jin up to his games again? I think he just might be, and if that's the case, Hassan had better be careful. The Jin is around every corner. Number 18, Old College Poltergeist. While exploring an old abandoned college, YouTuber exploring with Melor jumps out of his skin from this paranormal encounter. Let's watch. What's that one say? Shit's up. So it was like 1983. It seems to me like the ghost may not appreciate Melor looking through this album in particular. 1983. Would you stick around to pry around some more? I certainly wouldn't. Number 17. Haunted Abandoned House. Dennis from YouTube channel Dark Ghost Paranormal is tracking some ghosts in an abandoned house, and it quickly goes sideways. Something is banging in this hallway. He gets closer to the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. 
Is something inside? More sounds throw Dennis off track. What was that? A second city cam may have captured what was causing this noise from another angle. Did you see that? Watch again closely. A shadow figure flees down the hallway. To me it seems more like it escaped the fridge and moved off to make noise elsewhere. Where did it go though? Better not follow. I think Dennis is not safe here. Number 16. Demons Encountered. The team from YouTube channel Paranormal Nightmare TV series encounters demons in this haunted house. As one of the home's residents gives the team a tour, she expresses surprise at the silence and the spirits respond in kind. You know it's here, but it's like, it's quiet. Cause usually you'll hear like a little bit banging or something like that, but there you go. The team conducts a spirit session in the house and they tell the spirit to leave. They don't want you here. Say, oh my gosh. He then hears a noise which is not entirely captured by the audio. Noise. It sounds like a door or somebody walking on wood, kind of. I don't explain it. It's the weirdest sound. A moment later, the audio does capture this. Okay. Alright. Yep. I can't do this place. Sean leaves the house and it sits empty for 10 minutes. That's when the steady cam captures this. And this. And also this. What happened there? Was that paranormal activity? I think the spirits in the house are taunting the crew, just as they do the homeowners. But the real question is why? What are they here for? And what will it take for them to leave? Number 15. The house where the soul dwells. YouTuber Eugene of Dark Magic returns to the house where the soul dwells, and he discovers that the soul still dwells there. While in the kitchen, he hears noise in the next room. He continues to explore and the soul doesn't leave him alone. As he speaks to the spirit, he finds it has something to say. Почему ты такой? Ой. Simultaneously, a steady cam moves into the next room. What is going on here? And what does this soul want? To me, it sounds like it wants to be left alone. Number 14. The Screaming House. While inside the Screaming House, YouTube team Moxley's Paranormal World doesn't hear the screams, but they do feel the fear. It starts with a sensation. See how you can see my shadow? I know your hair, I can feel you. This is one I've never been able to... Is something here? <laughs> Boom! What was that? Something was on me, something was on me, there's a spider on me, no what? Then they hear something. I'm hoping the camera's picking this up. A cat ball is triggered in another room, and some of their other paranormal devices go off as well. Would you be used to put a cat ball? Pardon? Oh! And again? My KT is going off as well. Look, 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 look! Thank you for that. 
The K2 starts lighting up as it sits in a chair. K2? Are you sat in that chair? Is this your chair? As they're distracted by the K2, a shadow figure sprints past behind them. Did he want us out? Look at that, it's just a straight red. Mate, I just caught a shadow. Okay. I've seen a shadow behind me. Then when you just <coughs> see the outline fly behind. And they keep hearing a female voice. It's strange, very strange in there. I understand, it was a female voice that. And do, you know, do you know what I look right? Do you know what I can picture in here and it sounds like, oh, Going off. All evidence points to a female presence lying low in the screaming house. I just want to know the story behind this place. Number 13. National Museum of Funeral History. Who just let themselves in? Shared by YouTuber Paranormal Road Trip. This mysterious footage of the National Museum of Funeral History in Houston, Texas appears to show paranormal activity. Watch the doors to the left. She sits it on. It opens no, again. Nobody else is here. Oh, yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah. The doors at the far end appear to open on their own. No one steps out, though. It happens again while a group of people are standing at the end of the hallway. And that door is the last door. Somebody right? has to turn the knob when that door would open. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or push it or from push the inside. Push it. So it's not just air pressure from opening the front. It, you actually got to push it. push it. They recreate the incident on the other side of the door in order to see if the air pressure from the outer door causes it to open. Doors didn't no, even budge. not even. They didn't even budge. They're too heavy to do that. So what happened here? Is there still some potential for air pressure? I think there could be. What if there were windows open in the room at the time that may have provided the right circumstances for the door to pop open? Let me know what you think in the comments. Number 12. Abandoned Church a 200-year-old abandoned church in Jericho, Wisconsin, is reputed to be haunted, and the team from YouTube channel Mindseed TV is here to check it out. As they tour the place, they see something moving. Somebody that would like to talk to us through this device? Oh, dude, there's a bunch of weird up here, man. Oh, what the f Hey, dude, did you see that right there move? They arrive at another hidden part of the building, and the lights are on. The rest of the place has no electricity. They start to wonder if someone is living here. Hello? Oh, dude. What if this is the other building? This is the, this is the second building. Maybe this place isn't abandoned after all. To me, these wet footprints leading into the building seem to suggest that... To the left building. Someone is there, and it's alive. For more scary videos like this one, be sure to check out Mindseed TV's channel. Number 11, Glenn Tavern Inn. Jade of YouTube channel Ghost Club Paranormal spends a night alone in the most haunted room of the Glenn Tavern Inn. Cue all the spooky stuff. As Jade is describing the spirits here, the lights flicker off. It's the one that's not supposed to be a very nice... I don't know why the light just went out. She captures some energies via the K2 meter. She starts to hear noises. When I get spikes on the K2 meter. Okay, now I'm hearing noises just all around the room. And one even seems to happen in response to her request. The spirit appears to turn the flashlight on. Alright guys, same thing, I have turned this flashlight off and if any spirits want to turn it on by the time I get back, you can be my guest. I'm gonna leave now. Oh, 
okay oh my God. again it was like then a cowboy responds to jade's questions are there any cowboys with me in this room right now can you make a knocking noise if there's any cat and when she continues her communication with the spirit, it says hello. This is so weird. Like, I feel like somebody keeps pulling on my tassel. I've seen enough here to be certain that Glen Tavern Inn is haunted. And I think Jade has a finger on the pulse of the spirit. Number 10. Night with a ghost. While staying overnight in a house with a poltergeist, you're bound to develop insomnia. YouTube Team Toppy is up all night in this poltergeist apartment. Bumps in the night occur while the couple is sleeping at around 2 a.m. Listen closely. Through a spirit box, they ask the ghosts why they want them out, and this is their response. Скажите, пожалуйста, почему меня просят уехать домой? More footage while they sleep captures additional noises, including a whistle. and more bumps in the night are heard. Then it sounds like someone is clapping. A struggle unfolds in the kitchen. And then the sounds return to the room. These noises continue throughout the night over more than five hours of recording. Aside from the paranormal, the only thing I can think of that may be making these noises is rodents. So what do you think? Is this house infested by rats? Number 9. House that wants no inhabitants. YouTuber Ricky Velasquez captures this house being antisocial. Watch these china cabinet drawers. Here it is again, a little slower this time. The creepiest part of this footage is the shadow figure that moves towards the china cabinet. Keep your eyes peeled for it. Is that one of the creepiest things you've ever seen? I think this is one of the most authentic shadow figures I've witnessed. What do you think? Number 8. Spirit Swamp Max from YouTube channel Paranormal Point is investigating the so-called Swamp of the Dead in this scary video. It leads him into dark places. As he continues to delve deeper into the swamp, he gets readings on his device, but that's not all. The device continues to be triggered, particularly by this large tree. Then he appears to see something in the darkness. Mm -hmm. 
it's too dark to make out with a human eye. But Max retreats. When he breaks out the spirit box to interview the spirit, the spirit has questions of her own. She tells him something ominous. Who is he and who are they? And where will they take him? If I were Max, I wouldn't follow. Number 7. Poltergeist Activity This abandoned house ended up being one of the most active places that the YouTube team from iConjure TV has ever investigated. Here's just one example. Get lost. Something definitely fell or moved. You can hear it plain as day. Get lost. I don't know what that was, but I think they should get out of there as quickly as they can before it's too late. Number 6. Door opens. When one door opens, it probably means a ghost is in the building. Redditor Nooski Got Distrapped shares this video, which was captured at their work at 5 a.m. The Redditor says that the place is about 75 years old, people have passed away in it, and strange things have occurred to them inside. Feelings that they're being watched and unexplained pennies turning up everywhere. The bar was empty at the time. Watch the bottom right. There's a glass door you see opening. They also believe that this object you see flying out of there is an orb. Although I wouldn't put too much stock into orbs as they're more often than not dust or insects, the door opening and shelf shattering does seem mysterious to me. Can you think of any logical explanation? Number 5. Aggressive Werewolf Werewolves lurk in this forest. Enter if you dare. YouTube Team Fat Jose Mysterios faced off with a wild half-man half-dog in this scary video. First, they hear it. <laughs> Sei lá o que foi isso. Olha aí de novo ela. And soon they spot it right before it gives chase. Its growl soon sends him running. And despite fleeing the werewolf, it's still stalking them in the darkness. Liga logo, liga logo tua moto, liga. Vai, 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 liga, liga. Well, they escape. Tô vendo, tô vendo, vem. They better hope so, or I think they'll soon be part of the wolf pack too. Number 4. Something horrifying. When YouTuber Hype Mike and his team open a crate in the basement of this haunted house. That's why it's here. They're giving us the tools to succeed. Oh, oh my it just opened. Yep. Okay. Good idea. A little bit more. Crank it. Three, two. What the that was the basement door slamming shut. They try to reopen it. Open it. It's not opening. What do you mean it's not no. opening? Did somebody close the door? It's not opening. Dude, I'm telling you, when I saw something, it escaped. Like, it's like leaving the basement. That's what I saw, bro. Whenever I said that I shot Shadow, it was walking away from the basement. They return to the box and they find this. Let's see. Oh my God. What the hell? Look at this! Dude. Jesus. Holy sh Creepy stuff. Later they break out of the basement, but they might live to regret it. Okay, fine with all fine. 
Oh, hold up. What? what? Oh, dude. My God. How? What, what the? Did you move that? I didn't touch that. No. Did no you know? Did anyone notice that? Did that demon figure come down from the attic? Later, while reviewing some photos taken on her camera, one of the crew notices something truly creepy in the background. During my spare time, whatever, and look. What the is that? What is it? What is it? Dude, look. Somebody here. What is that? And I didn't see anything. We didn't see anything. Obviously, I didn't notice. Otherwise, I would have freaked out. Is this the same figure captured on the steady cam in the hallway? I think it might be. And although this is a production, if I were Hype Mike's team, I'd be out of there in a flash because the call is coming from inside the house. Number three, Whistling Spirit. The historic Jefferson Hotel is a known hotspot for paranormal activity. They have an entire YouTube channel to document the stuff. Here is yet another instance captured on camera. It sounds more like a murmur to me, but this next one is a definite whistle. And lastly, a totally creepy laugh is heard. I don't know what that was. The whistle is captured faintly again. Right there. Is this someone pulling a prank? I heard all of the sounds, including the whistles, but that doesn't mean they aren't human. But I would probably conclude it was a spirit too if I worked in a place as haunted as the historic Jefferson. Number 2. Live Stream Capture EVPs were captured through a live radio during a live stream by YouTube team Ghost Adventures of Cornwall, and these things are eerie. <laughs> Who's that laughing? Who are you? I'm laughing again. Who are you? First the word heaven is heard, then the laughter. A moment later it says the words proper demon. Was that you? Proper demon? What? But here's where it gets truly creepy. <laughs> Skin and the nails? What? Skin and nails? Does this demon of Cornwall want your skin and nails? I think it does, and it might be taking your soul with them. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next 5 seconds? Because I upload 4 new scary videos every week. For one, disembodied scream. The horrific event that happened at University of Idaho has drawn national and international attention. Redditor 2201992 shared some Fox News footage of the investigation, including an interview with a victim's father. During the interview, something odd happens. Listen closely. Um, holy <laughs> that's a scream. It does sound like a scream to me too. Some in the comments say it happens three times on the full video posted on the Fox News website. Whether or not this can be explained, considering the interviewer is at the scene of the incident, this terrifying shriek made my hair stand on end. Um, holy that's a scream. Filmed in Mexico during a mass, a mysterious screaming lament was heard mid-mass. Listen closely. El Señor esté con ustedes y, y con tu espíritu. Lectura del Santo Evangelio según San...